Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve an exact differential equation. But first we'll need to check if it's indeed exact. So remember that equation is called exact if those two functions that are right next to dx and dy are partial derivatives of the same function f of x. So that would be partial derivative with respect to x of that function f and that would be the partial derivative of that function f with respect to y. And if they are partial derivative of the function f. Well, that function f is the solution. So our goal would be to find it. But let's first check if they're indeed partial derivatives of, that, of some kind of function f. For that we have a theorem that we're going to use, which says that if you take this function, and we usually call it m of x, y, and differentiate it with respect to y, so it's always like the opposite variable, and then you, if you take this function here, we usually call it n of x, y, and differentiate it with respect to x, again, the opposite variable. So if those results are the same, are equal, then that will be the exact differential equation. So let's do it. That's going to be step one. Okay, so partial derivative of function m, this one, with respect to y, is going to be the following. Remember, I'm keeping I am treating y as the variable and x as the constant. So if 2x is the constant, then it means that its derivative is 0. So 0 plus, and then derivative of y, y is the variable, is just 1 plus 1. Okay, so I got 1 in this case. And now I'm going to find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So I'm treating x as the variable and y is the constant. x is the variable, its derivative is 1, and then 6y, it's a constant, derivative of the constant is 0, plus 0. I get 1. Yes, I can see that the results are equal. And that means that we are looking at the um, exact differential equation. Well, now let's try to solve that equation. Once again, I want to remind you that function m of x, y is the partial derivative of some kind of function f with respect to x, and well, that's 2x plus y, right? And function n, n of x, y, it's the partial derivative of the same function f, but with respect to y, x plus 6y. And a solution to this equation will be this function f. So our goal is to find this function f. And these are the steps we're going to take. First, we're going to think this way. If m of x, y, which is this expression, is the partial derivative of function f that we need to find with respect to x, that means that antiderivative of this should get me to the function f, or maybe closer to the function f. So this is how I'm going to write down step 2. Find function f, f of x, y, by taking antiderivative, remember it's the same as the integral, of m of x, y, and of course we're going to do dx because that was partial derivative with respect to x. That's why we're doing dx here. However, when we do integral, remember we always are left with a constant. Well, what is the constant when we are differentiating or obtaining partial derivative with respect to x. Remember, x we treat as the variable and y is the constant. So in this case, when I say, well, plus a constant, I'm not going to say plus c. I'm going to say that since y is the constant, I'll say that it's going to be plus some kind of function of y. So that's going to be a constant in this case because, again, we're dealing with partial derivatives and, in a sense, partial antiderivatives. Okay, let's try it. So function f of x, y equals integral m of x, y is 2x plus y dx. Now, I, I need to remember that I'm integrating with respect to x, right? So x is the variable and y is the constant. That stays the same. So what is antiderivative of 2x? Well, it's 2x, I increase power by 1, so it becomes 2, and I divide by that same number, so 2x squared over 2, right? Plus, and then if y is the constant, just think, what if it was 5? 
what would be the antiderivative of 5? You would say 5x, right? Um, well, in this case, it's not 5, it's y, which we treat as the constant. So it's going to be yx, like that. And as we said, instead of writing plus c, we're going to put plus g of y, some kind of function in terms of y, which is the constant, since y is the constant. Okay, so what do we have so far? So we found that function f of x, y equals, um, by the way, here I can divide out two, right? So it's x squared plus yx plus some kind of function of y. Now, did we find function f of x, y? Well, almost. So what's left to do is to determine what is this function g of, um, g of y is. Now, how do we find it? Well, by using the fact that function n of x, y is the partial derivative of that same function f, but with respect to y. And we know what it equals to x plus 6y. So what we'll do in step 3, we're literally going to take our function f and we're going to find its derivative with respect to y. And that result we're going to set equal to x plus 6y because, well, that's essentially the same thing. So let's write this down. Okay, so I'm saying find partial derivative of function f with respect to y. And I need to remember, and that's the whole point here, that at, that is the same, so that equals to n of x, y, which I know what it, it equals to. Um, specifically, it's x plus 6y. So by setting them equal at the end, we will be able to find that function g of y. Okay, let's, let's give it a try. So partial derivative of function f with respect to y will be the following. Um, now, we're treating y as the variable and x as the constant. So that is the constant. Um, and the derivative of, the, of this constant is just 0. Plus yx. y is the variable, x is the constant. So derivative of that is drop y, leave just the constant, plus x. Plus, and then I have to take derivative of this function g, well, I don't know what it is. So the only thing I can do is to write g prime of y, derivative of function g. That's all I can do. But now, once again, I remind myself that what I just obtained is, or should, be exactly the same as function n of x, y, which I know that is x plus 6y. So this result, which I can rewrite and drop 0, so x plus g prime of y. Um, that result I'm going to set equal with n of x, y. So in the next step I'm going to take x plus g prime of y and set it equal x plus 6y. Like that. Okay, so what does that give me? It gives me expression for the first derivative of function g of y, because if I subtract x from each side, minus x, minus x, I'm going to find that derivative of g is 6y. And if I know derivative, can I find the function g itself? Yes, by taking antiderivative. In other words, to find g of y, I have to integrate 6y dy. Okay, so what is that? It's 6y squared over 2. Um, that is 3y squared. And I'm not going to put plus c at this point here because we'll have that constant at the very end when we just put together the final answer for our differential equation. But now what I'll do, I'll take that and that is again g of y and I'll put it here. Remember, at this step, that was step two, we almost found function f of x, y. So the only thing that we didn't know was g of y, that piece. Well, we got it right here, g of y. Actually, right here, right? So I'm going to make an arrow. So that's where I put it. We found it. And I added a comment for step four, right? So we needed to find g of y in step four, and we did it by integrating. Okay, so we're ready to write down the solution. 
solution is going like, to look like this. Solution is the function f of x, y that equals to constant. So it's going to be, again, I'm copying it from here, x squared plus y, x plus, now I know that g, y is, g of y is 3y squared equals c, some kind of constant c. Okay, so that's going to be the solution. And I can actually check that solution. So if you want to check, if you got the right solution, what do you do? You find partial derivatives of this function first with respect to x and then with respect to y. And what you should end up with are the functions m of x, y and n of x, y. So if you got those done, you're looking at the correct solution. So these are the steps. Let's recap. So to solve the exact differential equation, well, first, of course, you start by testing if it's indeed the exact differential equation. But then what do you do? You obtain or almost obtain function f of x, y, which will be a solution to your equation by taking the partial derivative of that function. And that's what function m of x, y is. Um, that's, that's the expression that stands next to dx. And you integrate with respect to x. Well, instead of a constant plus c, you're going to write g of y, some kind of function of y. That is the constant in this case. Then your goal will be to find that portion, you know, to find g of y. How do you find? First, you take the result from step two, function f of x, y that we almost obtained, and you find its partial derivative with respect to y. Because we know what it should equal to. It should equal to this function, n of x, y, expression that stands next to dy. So you find the partial derivative with respect to y, and you set it equal to x, y. By doing that, you will be able to obtain the derivative of function g of y. But if you know the first derivative of a function, in terms of y, you can find the function itself by finding its antiderivative, which is same as integral, right? So you integrate the result and obtain function g of y itself, which is the missing part for our function f of x, y, which is the solution to the equation. Now, just function f of x, y is, it's a particular solution, it's just one of them, it's basically saying equals zero, but and this expression or this equation represents a family of solutions. That's where we put constant C. So yeah, that's how we solve exact differential equations.